Hey guys, what's up? It's Dave Atkinson here from drumlessons.com and on this lesson we're going to talk about just the basic introduction to 5-4 and how to apply it to a drum set. Now in the next few lessons we're going to talk about beginner, intermediate and advanced 5-4 beats and fills. So before you go into that, maybe watch this video just so you can get a bit of a better understanding behind 5-4. Uh, maybe some tips and tricks on how to count it and just understand it better. The, the main issue that I find with 5-4 is that it always feels like you're falling off an edge. It always feels like um, um, you're not quite, you know, grooving with, 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 uh, with the click. And that's because 5-4 is basically adding one extra quarter note to common time, or 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so let's count 4-4, four, four, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Very easy. Most drummers know it. Most people who don't even know music can count 4-4. Four, four. It's just something that you automatically feel. Now 5-4, it's basically just five quarter notes. 4-4 four, four was four quarter notes. 5-4 five, is five quarter notes. So let me count 5-4 for you. 1-2-3-4-5. 1-2-3-4-5. 1-2-3-4-5. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you gotta have to get used to that pulse and get used to it being a little bit longer than 4-4. Four, four. Now this is where a lot of people, you know, kind of get messed up and have troubles with it because they feel like they want to play 4-4, four, four, but they just want to add one more extra quarter note in. And that's where a lot of times the beats don't feel natural, okay? So the main thing with 5-4 drumming and any kind of odd time drumming is to make sure that you can play it so it feels comfortable, okay? Now the way I like to explain it is play yourself a 5-4 or a 7-4 or any kind of odd time pattern and try to actually make it feel not odd at all, okay? When you can actually play a beat or play a song that doesn't actually seem like it's in an odd time and the listener is just grooving to it like it's just a normal common time song, that's when you're gonna be successful and that's when all these odd time beats are gonna become a lot more fluent and they're just gonna sound so much better. Now a very good example of this is Dave Brubeck's classic jazz song, Take Five. It's a, it's a really cool song, a lot of people know it, and when they start listening to it, they start bobbing their heads and they start grooving to the bass line. And it's a really catchy bass line, and the way the whole song is played, you don't know it's in 5-4 or in odd time, it just grooves, you know? And that's what we're trying to strive with these beats. You want to try and develop such an internal clock that uh, the 5-4 pulse is embedded in yourself. So that way when you play, you're really smooth and it feels natural. All right, now let's move on to some tips and tricks on how to actually practice and play and count 5-4 because that's gonna be what really uh, um, takes you to that next level. Now when you're practicing 5-4, you obviously should be playing with a metronome and if you're not already, get a metronome. It's, it's super important, especially when you wanna practice odd time. The reason being is you wanna have that pulse, okay? Let me put on a click track here that has no pulse and I'm gonna try and count 5-4. Okay, so you hear that? Now let's try and count five over top of that, all right? One, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five. When you start playing and you start practicing, you're gonna lose where that one is every time. You're gonna lose where the actual pattern repeats. And it's really tricky to actually develop that internal clock without having an actual pulse. So what I'm trying to get at is when you start practicing odd time, especially 5-4, make sure you're practicing with a click that has a pulse to it. Let's do that same tempo with a click track with a pulse on the five count. Here's what it sounds like. All right, so you can hear the difference already. One, two, three, four, five. Two, two, three, four, five. Three, two, three, four, five. It's a lot easier, especially when you start playing around the kit, if you automatically start playing 4-4 four, four again, which happens a lot, and it's gonna happen to you too if you're, if you're just starting out on 5-4, um, you're gonna notice that you're off on the pulse. So having that extra little click in there, the extra little volume boost, tells you when that pattern's repeating and when the five count is, and that is so important when you're practicing. Now another trick, a little tip here for you for counting 5-4, any kind of odd time signature, is to pick a word that has five syllables one that's easy, one that rolls off your tongue, and one that's not really gonna confuse you. Um, you can do this with any odd time. You can do it with 7-4, you can do it with 5-4, you can do it with pretty much anything. But find a word that actually rolls off your tongue very quickly. For 5-4, I choose the word hippopotamus. And I know a lot of people might laugh, and when they see me playing 5-4, they might say, what, what is he saying there? But hippopotamus has five counts to it. So when you're saying that over and over again, it's a lot easier, for me at least, to count 5-4 that way. 
And it's one of those things where in a situation where you're playing 4-4 and you have to do a couple bars in 5-4, sometimes it's a lot easier to get that pulse by saying hippopotamus, hippopotamus, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just a little trick. It might work for you, it might not, but I thought I'd throw that out there because it's something that I use all the time. All right, so that being said, enjoy these next videos. We're going to talk about beats. We're going to talk about fills from beginner all the way to advanced. Uh, take these tips and tricks with you. Hopefully it gives you a better understanding of 5-4. It is an odd time signature, but hopefully after you're done with these videos, it's going to be very, very natural for you. Okay, I'll see you on these next lessons.